Hi, I'm David and today we're talking about some ways to stay cool in your RV this summer, especially when you're boondocking, also known as dry camping. In other words, we don't have any shore power or generator. Now the first and most obvious way to stay cool this summer is to change your location. I mean, we are on wheels after all, and you might not have to go as far as you think. I mean, sure, you could head north, but you could also head straight up because elevation has a dramatic effect on temperature. For every 1,000 feet in elevation, the average temperature changes 3.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The best way to find a higher elevation campground is to use Campendium. You can start by doing a search for your area, then click on More Filters and set your elevation preferences. You can unlock this feature by having a RoadPass Pro account. For example, we were traveling through Texas and it was almost 100 degrees in Del Rio. But if I set my preferences to about 4,000 feet, I can see that there are a lot of options if I just drive two or three hours west. And then if I double that to about 8,000 feet, I see there are a lot of options within about half a day's drive. Here's another resource that helps you find cooler temperatures. If you go to Google and search for temperature map, you'll find this one from wonderground.com. Click on Wonder Map and it shows you the temperatures in real time. And look how dramatic the change is in temperature from the top of the mountain all the way to the bottom. Another way to stay cool is to find a nice shady camp spot. These trees make a huge difference. You can also try to camp by a body of water like an ocean, lake, or a river. Usually the temperature is a little bit more bearable when you're next to the water. And the last way to change your location is try to avoid camping on asphalt or concrete pads. If you've ever been to Las Vegas in the summertime, you know what I'm talking about. That concrete can really hold in the heat. Tip number two on how to stay cool in your RV, put Reflectix on your windows. Uh, I was shocked at how well this stuff works. You just put them up on your windows and it reflects the sun away from your windows. And I don't know how, but all the heat comes through your windows. So I was really surprised at how well this works. Tip number three is open all of your windows in the RV if you're not using the Reflectix sheets. If the sun is beating down your windows, you're gonna be better off with the Reflectix. But if it's not, if it's a cloudy, breezy day, or if it's nighttime, you're gonna want that circulation going through the RV. Speaking of circulation, tip number four, let's talk about fans. If you just bought an RV, you might be surprised to find out that your electrical outlets in your RV do not work unless you're hooked up to shore power or a generator. So it's a great idea to invest in one of these solar battery generators so you could at least plug in a household fan like this or your laptops or your mobile devices. Just make sure that the unit you buy can handle the amount of watts that you need. Like if you wanna plug in a coffee pot, you're gonna need a lot more watts than just a household fan. Ah, that's better. It's also a great idea to upgrade your rooftop vent fans because the stock ones that come with most RVs are not very powerful. The two most popular brands for that are Fantastic Fan and Max Air, and they're very powerful. And some models even allow you to blow air back into the RV. So if you want, when you set up camp, you can suck out all the hot air and then blow fresh air back into your RV if you wanna do that. Tip number five, you can also use your awning to create a nice shady spot for you to sit in and also block the sun from hitting your RV during that time of day. Tip number six on how to stay cool in your RV, break out the griddle or the barbecue pit, try to cook outdoors. That way you're not generating all of the heat with your oven or your stove inside your RV. Well, those are just a few ideas on how to stay cool this summer in your RV. Don't forget to research all of your camping destinations on campindium.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.